guys, it's your girl Jazz and welcome back to Jazz Untitled Creations. So we're here and we're going to be doing a brick and morty tray. Um, so you'll be needing one of these trays from Dollar Tree or you could use another tray, preferably a metal tray or a wooden tray. Because when you put epoxy over a plastic tray, it tends to bend and crack and it's not as sturdy and long lasting as more solid foundation. So um, first things first, I'm going to show you everything that I have on this table, everything that I might be using today because honestly, I have no game plan for this tray. I'm just kind of taking it as it goes. So you'll need your 91% alcohol. You're going to use it to sanitize your tray and remove your sticker. You can use cotton pads, paper towels, whatever you feel, washcloth, whatever you want to use to do that. Um, I have my scraper so I can, you know, adhere the picture to the tray. I have a silicone brush. Um, I use a silicone brush if I do not have any more popsicle sticks or, um, yeah, that's basically it. Or if I need to smooth out some epoxy. And then I also have craft, craft Bond Quick Dry Glue. I'll be using this to adhere the picture to the tray. I have some yellow glitter. I have two green glitters. I have multiple shades of green and black and white acrylic ink. I have my different size sponge brushes. I have my cups for epoxy. These are the cups that come with this brand of epoxy. But I also keep shot glasses um, and use it as the same way. And then I always mix in a bigger container than what is given. So this is what that is for. And then moving on to um, this is Mod Podge. I probably won't be using this today, but I use it for my glitter trays, which if you want to see how I do a glitter tray or a marble tray, just subscribe to this, just subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below, and I'll have a, a video uploaded by Saturday. Ugh, I cannot talk today, so forgive me. And then I have um, an ashtray mold. It's silicone. Make sure this is completely clean before you do it because once you apply the epoxy, anything that's on here, like the little glitters, will be stuck to the epoxy. So if you want a clear look, you want to make sure it stays clear um, and so, so on and so forth. I have the grinder. This is the grinder of my choice. The link for this grinder will be in my description box. The link for most of these products I am using today will be in my description box. So make sure if you need anything, you check the description box first and then you can head to my craft group or to my Instagram DMs. Um, as well as the link to my Instagram and my craft group will be in this description box with all of the products. So go there first. And then if you need further help, reach out to me. Excuse me. Reach out to me. And then I have flat black spray paint. I have green spray paint because the picture has black, a lot of bright green, a lot of bright yellow, and some purple. So I want to incorporate it in the tray. But then again, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it either. So I have black glitter. I have silver foil. Um, I have my makeup palette. And I have an old makeup brush. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to be using this for later in this video. So make sure you stay all the way through. And um, subscribe. Just like press that button right there. Like it's right there. Press it. And then I also have a jar more trays gloves and for ppe you want to make sure that you always have gloves you always have on your mask and you're always being safe make sure windows are open doors are open make sure it's well ventilated to protect you and um amazing clear cast is my favorite epoxy brand it's not my favorite epoxy brand it's um the most convenient and the most favorites if you want a good epoxy brand um last minute i'll use this but if you're planning i'll insert a picture of what i use when i plan out stuff and then i also have paint i'm not sure if i'm going to be using this but i have it just in case 
but I'm about to show you exactly what I'm doing. So let's get into it right now. I'm gonna take this, spray the tray. It is drying. I'm about to move on to. take my shot glasses take a popsicle stick Okay, so you can see that my epoxy has a lot of bubbles. So you're gonna wanna take your heat gun and like pop those bubbles. Or if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a lighter, but the lighter won't be as effective. Like it won't get as much as the heat gun will, but it'll still get the job done. So you see this, I am, I don't have my heat gun with me today. Um, I'm in the process of moving, but I have, this super flakes that i want to add into this like i just feel like that'll be a vibe also i want to add in some black if i have it and um i do not have black okay so i'm gonna just add in some white with this and a hint of the brightest green that i have in the acrylic ink let's see Um, which will be the lime. So I'm going to add some lime, some white, and some silver into here. And um, mm, and this. Yep, I'm going to add some of that. I'm going to add all of that into this, and I'll show you how it looks. So we're up close and personal. I have some of the flakes. Uh, maybe a little bit. That should be more than enough. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this in first. Remember, the more things you add into your epoxy, the less stronger it will be. So just keep that in mind. As you can see, that is a lot, a lot, a lot of flakes. That's too many flakes, in my opinion, for the look that I was trying to get. But it's okay. Some white. Oh, it's not open. 
Give me a second. Okay, now that it's open, I'm going to add in some white, a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in some. And then I'm going to add in the green. Dang, the green's not open either. Okay. Hold on. I'm adding in five drops of the lime because it's not as bright as I wanted it to be. But that's okay. We're going to mix this. Mix it all up. And this is the color we got. Um, I think I will add just a little bit just to see how it looks. Okay. It's not as bright as I wanted it to be, but that's just because this lime is like darker green, which is okay. I'm about to... Now, this is how it, the makeup looks. Let me get the extra. Okay, so this is how my makeup palette looks. You see the yellows, you see the greens, you see the purples. Um, I left spots open because I want this to peep through as much as, not as much as possible, but I want you to be able to see it in here. So now that this is all mixed up, I'm going to pour the um, epoxy mixture I just made into this. And the bottom layer of this ashtray will be black, will be black epoxy. To match the tray some more. And while the tray is drying, this will be already curing. So by the time I'm done adding the picture to the tray, I can go in with my second layer of epoxy when I epoxy the um, rolling tray. So when you're working with crafts, you kind of want to have a game plan so you know which order you should start. I'm sorry, the play is going by. I'm back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, you want to plan out how you're going to do your stuff. Just like you want to plan out how you're going to cook. You want to plan out the order that way you're not wasting time double tracking or having something sit longer than needed so this is going to start curing for when we get back with the tray after that spray paint is dry we can go ahead and add the last layer of epoxy to this ashtray once we um, add the epoxy to our rolling tray that way we're all on the same page and i doing extra steps and stuff like that i'll come back to you once my pictures are ready for pickup and i'm ready to show you the rest of the tray this is how the pictures came out from walmart this is an 8 by 10 and i also have a 5 by 7 and a 4 by 6 and i'm going to be using these on the tray the ashtray the grinder and the jar you're going to need a pen to trace along an empty tray that has no spray paint on it so you don't chew to spray paint. And you're going to um, just trace it and cut it out so it can fit in the on the bottom of the tray. And then you're going to epoxy over that. And the same thing with the jars. You're just going to cut in a circle for the grinder and for the jar and a square for the ashtray and put it all together. Don't forget to always seal your photos, whether it's a actual photo or a piece of paper you want to make sure it's sealed with water resistant water resistant mod podge and i'm sorry guys i am still stuffy and it's been like three days um but moving forward we're just tracing so i'm gonna go let you guys watch that and um For the circular items, I traced it with the photo upside right. That way I could have it exactly where I wanted it to since it is such a smaller item. 
and then I just place it onto the grinder like I did here and then I'm gonna use my glue to hold on the picture on the tray and you're gonna want to use pressure until it is completely dry and then once it's dry you can go ahead and epoxy everything you just cut out and apply it to all of your products Please remember to have the window open in a well-ventilated area. Have on gloves and a mask. And um, yeah, let's pour this epoxy. It's pouring now. Um, I moved the epoxy into one side of the tray and then I scoop some up with my finger and apply it to the edge of the tray. So I'm sealing every part of the tray besides the bottom of the tray. And then I do the same thing with the ashtray in the jar. Um, if it moves like how it does on the jar, just take a dot of epoxy, put it underneath the photo, and then epoxy on top of the photo, and it will stick fine without using any glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this non-toxic paint um, and use that instead of alcohol ink, being that I didn't have black like I thought. I'm just gonna mix it on up. And remember when you add something to epoxy, it does make epoxy weaker. So be mindful of that. And I'm just gonna pour it in the ashtray and let it dry. That's all you have to do. Wait, wait, wait. Being that I use paint in the um, epoxy i'm just gonna take my blow dryer and blow over it instead of using a fire flame for like a lighter um and now i'm about to demold this ashtray with you guys and boom you can't really see the yellow um and the green eyeshadow unless you're looking real close but it does look like the little octopus feet is coming out from the purple which is pretty cool so um yeah get into it and you want to clean this up you're gonna need a sander and maybe even some scissors to get it off and then that is a jar top a little crusty i had to clean it up but um that's everything super cute grinder super cute set but i'm about to show you guys how to finish your grinder because it is not i mean how, how to finish your ashtray because it is not done yet so stay tuned subscribe to this channel like comment down below This is it. After you add that clear layer of epoxy to the ashtray to hold into the picture, everything is done. You just need for it to wait and dry. And you can see some spots in my epoxy because I dropped my set this morning, but it's okay. It's cool.